Yesterday's rain and chill giving way to better conditions today. And speaking of better, could they really be better than last year? Most agree they've had an incredible offseason. Here's Sal Palantonio with three key observations from Wednesday. Susie, it's only June 7th, and this is just the seventh practice of the spring for the Super Bowl champs, but boy, they are dialed in. Practice is going on over here, but let me tell you my three observations. One, the new wide receiver, Brandon Cooks, is learning the Patriot way at the wide receiver position, and that means option routes at the line of scrimmage, agility, versatility, and toughness. Rob Gronkowski says he's 100%. He looks it. First play from scrimmage with Tom Brady, Rob Gronkowski was split out wide, Hogan in the slot, Cooks in the slot, James White split out wide to the left, a matchup nightmare for any football team. And then Tom Brady, sharp, looks great, precision, velocity out of his hands with the football and coaching everybody up. The new tight end, Dwayne Allen, ball sailed over his head because he went like this. Brady motioned to him and said, Susie said, catch the ball like this. Always coaching, that's the key. Off to the star in Frisco, Texas for Cowboys OTAs. And whether it was Tony Romo's retirement or all the additions to the defensive secondary, all eyes there on the player who continues to be one of the most inspirational stories in the NFL. NFL Nation's Todd Archer watching as well. Susie, for the first time since the Cowboys selected Jalen Smith in the second round of last year's draft, he will practice in front of the media in 11-on-11 drills. All we've seen so far from him has been rehab work as he comes back from a devastating knee injury. So far this offseason, he's done everything with his teammates, just not in front of the media. From Jerry Jones to Stephen Jones to Jason Garrett to his teammates, everyone has expressed optimism regarding Smith's possibilities this year. Within the confines of what we're asking him to do, we're, we're really cutting him loose every day. And he's responded so well to that. And, and as you go uh, day by day and week by week, uh, you increase the threshold. And uh, again, he's responded well to every threshold we put in front of him, and uh, he keeps getting better and better. Smith's knee ligaments are healed and strong, but he still wears a brace on his left foot to aid a case of drop foot due to nerve damage. He's regained some movement and feeling in his foot, and the hope is he won't need the brace when the season starts. Susie, if he's close to 